Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, a repetitive wizard experience. If you've seen the movie or read the book, you know what to expect story-wise. I, having done neither, didn't know what I was getting myself into, and was ultimately disappointed not in the story, but in the overall delivery of the story. The feel of this game starts out great. You're slowly introduced to the mechanics of the game in a way that never feels like a tutorial. The entirety of the game takes place in Hogwarts. You feel like you're just a student. You run around solving the problems of other students and dealing with bullies. You can also collect crests to unlock multiplayer dueling rewards and wiggle your wand at shiny things until a bunch of mini crests come out, as of course you would expect from wand wiggling. This is a wizard school so the staircases move as you move, so going out on your own can get a little confusing. Luckily you have a guide in the form of nearly headless Nick. With the press of a button, he will appear and lead you to your next objective. This is the most clever way to help the player progress that I've ever seen in a game. All of this is great. You get to make potions by quickly following recipes, you get to duel with your wand, you get to play Quidditch, and you get to do these three things over and over and over. The entire story is, I need to make this potion, bring it back to whoever, but on your way someone stops you to duel. Dueling can be pretty fun the first couple of times, but I feel like the spells are not nearly as responsive as they should be, which can lead to a couple of frustrating losses. And in between this dueling and potion making, you have to play a pass through the rings game of Quidditch. Much like dueling, this is fun for the first few times. Luckily, missing a ring doesn't fail you like it would in any other game, but I found it hard at times to see what's going on with the sun shining in my eyes like Rihanna. The story here though is of course figuring out who the Half-Blood Prince is. Who owned the recipe book that Harry Potter now has? The story will slide in all of your favorite characters, but the ending lacked any punch in what could have been a very sad moment. It felt rushed and all over the place, lacking any true emotion from me or the characters. This game has some potentially great things going for it. The magic of Harry Potter is here. The game just doesn't do enough different throughout your 4 hour journey. I give Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince a 6.5 out of 10. If you played Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and tune in Monday for first impressions where you find out what game we're playing next. Thanks for watching. Hi Ron. Have you done your patience homework? Hermione, you're a girl. I'm surprised you noticed, Ronald. Do you think Romelda would like flowers or chocolates? Don't mind him. He ate some love potion. I'm taking him to Slughorn's office. To see Romelda. Ah, oh, Romelda.